this video, I'm going to show you how to choose, depending on how the research question is, is worded, if it's going to be a one-tail test or a two-tail test. And a one-tail test is sometimes called a directional test because um, it's going to go either on the right-hand side of the distribution or the left-hand side of the distribution. And a two-tail test is sometimes referred to as a non-directional, meaning the researcher suspects that this new treatment or therapy or medicine will have an effect, but they're not really sure what that effect's going to be. It could raise blood pressure. It could lower blood pressure. It could increase time spent in the air. Um, it could decrease, right? They're not really sure what, um, which direction it's going to go. So let's start with the first one. Are engineers less extroverted compared to statisticians? So the key word in this research question is less, okay? Anytime you hear the words like less or um, greater or more or um, taller or anything that kind of gives uh, ideas of like direction, right? So this is going to be a one-tailed test. Okay, and it's um, direction, we're actually gonna look at, um, if we saw in a distribution, right, we're actually gonna go over here in this negative side, right, because we're trying to see if um, engineers are less introverted compared to statisticians. Okay, so one-tailed, um, and it's gonna be, um, sorry, I spelled tailed wrong, it's bugging me. So we'll just throw an E in there. Um, then statisticians. Okay, next one. Is there a difference in memory retention for individuals at the age of 20 compared to their memory at 60? Okay, so the, the big word to look at here now is difference, right? Is there a difference in memory retention? It could be that their memory is better at 20 versus 60. It could be that their memory is worse at 60 versus 20, right? So you don't really, the research doesn't know. Um, this is like an open-ended question, right? So anytime you hear a word like change or difference or effect, that's all going to be a two-tailed test, right? So because what's happening is the researcher, here's the distribution, right? And it's saying, well, their memory could be um, greater, right? at one age versus the other. Their memory could also be um, worse or, or less at a certain age. All right, number three. Is there a difference in college GPAs for students who were homeschooled and for students who went to public school? So again, here we have the word difference. Another way you can have a two-tailed test like this is you could say something like, um, does homeschooling have an effect on college GPAs? An effect could be um, have a good effect or a poor effect. So again, difference is going to kind of tip you off. That's going to be a two-tailed test. Number four, do people who take daily vitamins live longer than people who don't? Longer is our key word there, right? Because again, in the distribution, what we're looking for is, do they hit um, more so than the general population way over here for age, right? Do they live longer than those people who don't? So in, in this case, then, it would be a one-tailed test. Or in other words, you're just looking at one tail. This becomes very, very important when we start talking about um, running statistical analysis. And so um, the last one, or the second to last one is extroverts are less stressed, right? So this again would be a one-tailed test. And then the last one, does the yearly income for nurses differ from the yearly income of air traffic controllers? The key word here is differ. So this would then be a two-tailed test. So when you start looking at these research questions, think, okay, are there clues? And in the wording, is it a directional, um, like a one-tailed test, or non-directional, like a two-tailed test?